Next, uh, Gary Glasser is going to present the Clinician of the Year Award. Hi, uh, my story is uh, my father uh, was diagnosed with GIST in 2009, um, and he, he Gleevec, uh, prolonged his life. Uh, we lost him a couple of years ago, but uh, I am thrilled to be part of the Life Ref team and uh, the, work that, the work that this group does, uh, the more you get close to it, the more you're amazed with it. it, it never Today I was amazed more listening to researchers. It's incredible. Um, as I remember fondly my dad, uh, I'm thrilled to introduce our Clinician of the Year, Dr. Robert Mackey. Dr. Mackey is a leading oncologist specializing in sarcoma and further specializing in GIST. After many years at Memorial Sloan, uh, a couple of years ago, Dr. Mackey joined Mount Sinai in New York to head up their sarcoma group. His careful analysis and treatment has saved and prolonged many just patients' lives. Dr. Mackey straddles research and treatment, applying learnings from each area to help the other. His tenaciousness and thoroughness has helped him lead in customizing just treatments across medical, surgical, and radiolog radiological treatments. So uh, on behalf of Life Raft Group, we thank you, Dr. Mackey. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Mackey was unable to be here tonight, but I hear we have a, an exciting video to watch. Good evening. Thank you for your generosity in awarding me the 2014 Life Raft Group Clinician of the Year Award. I'm just now flying overhead on the way to Los Angeles to a meeting and apologize for not being able to attend this year's event. There are a relatively small number of committed healthcare professionals who care deeply about GIST and continue to study it in some detail. The voice of that research and a message of hope are amplified many fold thanks to your diligence and ceaseless efforts to get out the word about GIST, helping to explain how best to care for people who are afflicted with GIST. I'm grateful to be part of this community and have been delighted to see some people doing well on imatinib and other medications for 10 years now or even longer. But obviously there's plenty of work still to be done. I hope that we'll be able to treat people for a more limited period of time in the future with newer agents that might be more specific for GIST so that they don't have to continue to take therapy without a clear end date. Important work by Annette Duensing at the University of Pittsburgh showed that the ability of imatinib or Gleevec to block ABLE the cancer gene that's important in chronic myelogenous leukemia actually takes away from imatinib's ability to block KIT and GIST. Newer generations of drugs will hopefully target KIT better and more specifically for people's benefit. And new drugs that block resistant cells and other new treatments such as immunotherapy may also have an impact on GIST in the next few years. I look forward to working with you and our colleagues in the clinics and the laboratory and in industry to find the next type of treatments that will hopefully yield better results for people who have to deal with GIST. Thank you very, very much again for this honor.